Hello everybody, I am Matt the Real Master. This is the Retro Room and this is my new leather lounge guys. Have a look. Ah, finally after all these years I've got myself a really nice lounge. It's an old one from 98, 1998. A friend Jason gave it to me and it was, it's been in my workshop for a long time. And uh, I thought well time to update that brought this one down here and finally got a leather lounge here in the retro room and yes finally I am in front of the camera not behind it which I think is the way to go um, from now on I want to show you guys more and more of my collection via a different view I think you're pretty much sick and tired of seeing what the camera sees and instead of um, in terms of just having me behind the camera and you seeing the same old scenery over and over and over I thought it was time well to get my face in front of the camera I'm not ashamed of it uh, I think I'm in better shape now than what I was throughout any other part of my life in terms of my facial appearance and my health so um, yeah I want to make a uh, shout out right now though to uh, Ray Glasser in Ohio in the US of A. Hi Ray, hope you're doing well. Um, I like what you're doing with with uh, Wixie 1260. Stay busy mate. Sorry, sorry to hear about your um, your loss of the loss of your wife. Um, so yeah, it's really bad, and I know you've had you've had two or three terrible years and. Uh, I've had a few bad ones in the past, and uh, I really feel for you, mate. Stay, stay, um, you know, keep busy, stay focused. But um, also want to say hello to Keith Gamble, all the guys on the Betamax is better Facebook page and the It's Alive video formats um, page as well. And I'm going to get off the lounge now and show you the latest arrivals to the retro room. So let's do that right now. Okay. Righto guys. First one to, to go is uh, High Riders on the CBS Fox label. I went to a few thrift stores, op shops and garage sales in recent times and stumbled across this one. I got this one for 50 cents from a... What store was it? I can't remember. I should remember. It was only a couple of weeks ago, but... Um, oh, that's right. It was, a, it was a Salvo store at Manapara, which is not far from Elizabeth and Salisbury in Adelaide, South Australia. Um, they had a whole stack of tapes for 50 cents a piece. Look at that. Original case, original seal of approval. And there is, there lies the tape. Now, there we go. Yellow, yellow spine. Original case, 50 cents. Doesn't look like it's going to be the greatest film of all time. Roaring Cycle Savages. Okay. So, yeah, it's from, what year are we talking here? Late 80s, I'd imagine. Yep, 89. So that's that one. Moving on. Let's go around to here, where I have the Dream Team. Excellent movie. I hadn't, I hadn't watched this um, in many years. I've always enjoyed it, but never had a copy. I finally do. And um, original case again. It's a Betamax. There we go, the CIC Taft case. Look at that. Yes, it's an X rental, but it's not beat up. Look at those, look at those stickers. They're in good shape. That that is that that sticker is in good shape. So, I actually played this the other day on my Sony uh, C9 Betamax machine, and uh, it comes up really well. Now, what else have I got to show here? Oh, by the way, Paul, Mr. Taft, I do promise to send you out your tapes this week. Here they are, still sitting here. 
Hunter's Blood, Beyond Evil, Acapulco Gold, our men, Smoking in the Good Time, Monster Squad, I think, as well, and a couple of others. Right. Whoops. Children of the Corn 4. I've never really liked this franchise, to be honest. These movies, I just... None of them really done it for me, you know? Right. One of the, uh, another one from Dolph Lundgren. Minion. Have not seen that yet. Son-in-law was added in recent times. That's with Paulie Shaw. There we go. Now. Okay, let's keep moving along. Um, in total, I've got about nine, uh, 12 tapes. With it, with two shop within the two shops that I went to. Um, so I'm just trying to remember right now where I put them all. My video classics gold collection hasn't grown really at all. I have moved my Rosemary's Killer tapes into here. So yep. there's that one. Okay. Here's the other one. Now these have been cut down. These these slicks, but. It is the real deal, aka the Prowler, I think it is, get out of there, there you go, original tape. Now I've also got one more shout out to a man who I've had on Facebook for a little while as a friend, and that's Frank Daft. Hello buddy, stick him back in there, and Mr KN5150 from Melbourne, and he's awesome. Friday the 13th tape collection. Um, now, I'll just keep moving along. Ah, I'm not sure if you've probably seen, I'm not sure if you've seen this in a recent video. This one here, Challenge to be Free. Another media title. So I've now got, notice the numbers here. I now have, Wilderness Family Part 2. If anyone's got Wilderness, Wilderness Family Part 1, I'd love to have that. Challenge to be free. And Mountainous, Mountain Family Robinson as well. I've got to get the first one. I have to find that. Right. Okay. Moving along, moving along. Okay. A few other ones here. Nothing super duper. Just any given Sunday. Murder by Numbers. Chato's Land. Charles Bronson. With other Warner Brothers. From 71 and 87 release. Now, Summer's B. Didn't really like that film that much, but for 20 cents I don't care. It's part of the deal, package deal that I got. Ah, now here's some more for you. I'm not sure what you guys think of these, but girls just want to have fun with, of course. Sarah Jessica Parker and the awesome Helen Hunt. I like Helen Hunt. I like Sarah Jessica Parker as well. Man, have the times gone by quick. 1985, can you believe? This is also a Betamax from the Salvos at Manapara. Rental sticker on there. But she's in pretty good shape. And uh, like I said, original case. Um, probably, yeah, it's an 85. So it's got a modern... Modern... Village Roadshow uh, logo in the case, but it's got the R up there. So that's when they went started going from the the big R to the Village Roadshow label. So it's in between probably the first year or so of that change. Okay, check this one out: The Amazing Spider-Man. This is from '82, and it is by no means as good as the original 1967 cartoon TV series. No match at all. No match. I mean, it's nice. It's not too modern. But it's just when they started to get into the modern. Starting to that change from the old way of cartoons to the modern. It's not overly, overly modern. But it's still a bit... Not as good as the original. I love the 67 series and I must get the American DVD of that too. Because it is still not out on Blu-ray. Okay, we've got nine minutes up already. I reckon I might end it there. I'm going to find these other tapes, do another video. 
and um, put your back right here, turn this around, there we go. So there's just a few of many new tapes. Um, stay tuned for the next video, and um, thanks for watching once again, and hello out there in YouTube land, and uh, I'll see you guys on Facebook very soon yet again. Ciao!